Ook is M4 episode Ja, ik zoek fucking waarom in giftig. Great, oké, okay, begin hem. Oké. Okay. Good day South Africa, good day South Africa, the belongs of Africa. Welcome to episode 10 of uh, The Sect of Flame. Uh, shooting you after we've just watched the episode. Uh, whew, what a dramatic episode. Hannes, shh. How are you, my man? Good evening, Lem. I'm very well, I must say. Uh, and it, indeed, it was probably the best episode I've seen this season. Uh, we have a lot to discuss. Yeah, we do have a lot to discuss. I see um, your snore is going on. You're growing that moustache. <laughs> that caterpillar is starting to crawl across <laughs> your face, bro. <laughs> so, so, by the looks of it, you would think I was on Survivor. But no, um, it was a very cold week here in South Africa. And um, really, you need all the facial hair you can just for a bit of warmth and comfort. So that's the reason uh, that my moustache is looking as it is. See, I'm not so good at the moustache. You can see I've got some fluff here, but I've uh, grown this bush uh, to help me uh, against the, the cold, as you just said. Uh, on this, a very exciting episode. I think we're going to start a bit unorthodox. Uh, usually we leave it the uh, Twitter conversation until last, but uh, I just want to throw this into the works from the get-go. Uh, when this episode just ended, uh, LaRue Berta, uh, executive producer, tweets out saying, did you guys see that coming? We did not. And I'm also going to quote um, Liesl Heiser, I think I'm saying her name right, at Liesl8, saying, I say this every week, uh, but I did not see this coming. Um, quite a dramatic episode. What do you think? Definitely it was a, a dramatic episode. Um, I did definitely not expect the tribal council but all in all i think it was a well balanced ex uh, episode between the reward challenge the immunity challenge and then of course what transpired later in the episode and tribal council so uh, you can uh, lead us in and then we can discuss it Lim. yeah i think uh, let's go through it chronologically uh, we start off end of the previous tribal council um people coming um to the tribe and uh, katinka just you know crying saying what well, they're, they're voting for me what happened um I would think at this point in time, you know, people will be coming after you at some point. So a bit unorthodox for her to not see people taking a shot at her. Yes, definitely. Um, you know, Lem, I, I always think about it like I think about rugby. <laughs> you would know that when you run onto the field, they will be hitting you. They will be to try and get your, your wind out. So uh, at, yeah, like you're saying, at some point you will get tackled. And if you get tackled and if you get knocked down you can't cry and say why this is happening when you sign up for the game of survivor when you run onto the rugby field you know that you will be taking hits physically and emotionally so i understand that it might get to you but then don't cry really yeah, no, what's your take on it i think i think for katinka up until this point you know uh, we haven't seen a lot of her she hasn't been so prominent in the edit and i think it's the first time that we spoke about it quickly uh, them saying she's the alliance leader she's running the show and I think for her it's the first time that oh shit these people are coming for me so I think for her it was a bit of an eye opener and like I say she maybe had the under the radar strategy and uh, it just surfaced and yeah, like I say it's human emotion you can't help it and then she you know why are they coming for me so at least that means if they're coming for you you're in the game and playing good games so I don't think you should feel bad that people are trying to vote you out Definitely, definitely. And then uh, immediately they jumped to the reward challenge. Now, uh, we had many discussions on the reward challenge. What's your take there, Lim? Um, it's difficult to be um, politically correct at times during this podcast, but I would say it's probably my least favorite challenge of the season um, for a couple of reasons. Um, <laughs> uh, I think, first off, you know, the, what I want to say, sorry, before we get to that, what I want to say... Uh, People have been saying this for ages in the US Survivor. They say, just show us at 30 seconds of drawing the captain, picking the teams. And I've, I remember a specific interview with Jeff saying, um, saying uh, it takes footage time. But I disagree. I think that 30 seconds showing what happens, it shows how people think, what they, you know, for instance, let's say Palesa in this case, first picking Werner. It shows us that they view Werner as a strong player. And I enjoyed that sequence. So before we get to the rest, did you enjoy seeing how they picked these teams? It's uh, like Nico said, it's the classic, you know, schoolyard thing. And just full disclosure, I'm so glad I weren't there because probably I would have been picked last. <laughs> but that's it now for discussion. It's the classic schoolyard thing. And, and, and I enjoyed that they show us who's picking whom. I think, we, let's take Tom. Tom deliberately did not choose Shanae because they, they went to Yeah, they, they, divorced, um, they divorced their, um, their survivor relationship. 
and 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 Palesa immediately picking the strongest players. I thought when I saw the two teams lining up against one mm. another, definitely that the team of Tom was a lot weaker than the team of Palesa, if you can call it their teams. They were the captains yeah. of the teams. Yes, uh, definitely. And then uh, we get to that point where now. I don't, I don't know if they did not test it that well or if it's a case that it was planned like that but then halfway through the race you know the boats the boat starts sinking now I mean if you knew before and that the boat can only carry you know 100 kgs whatever you might have put up put up a, a lighter team or something I think that took a bit of a credibility down because you're like well now it's just a struggle through the water and then they get to that challenge now I just want to I'm going to read this because you must on first glance it's either uh, wins a good taste or a win tastes good now in my mind both of them are credible i mean you can't say the one if i say to you right now and you didn't have a challenge you're like i can't remember which one it was um so you get into that situation where both teams given an adequate answer and it's like well you know yours isn't right you, you, you got a valid sentence but it's not what i wanted so you're wrong yes i really didn't like that um and and i agree with you generally i also did not get a a liking for the challenge i think it was a bit Messi to say Messi not Messi the soccer player no, not, not Messi like not, in, uh, Argentina yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, Messi like in all over the place if I can say that so also yeah. not my favorite challenge and then um, you want to discuss PK and 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 he's I won't say role in the challenge yeah. let's call it maybe luck with the challenge what's your take there well, look, uh, it's like a game of poker. You know, sometimes the card falls in your favor, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you sit out and you get nothing. Sometimes you sit, you sit out and you get an uh, immunity challenge, a uh, uh, immunity idol. I think, you know, kudos for him for one, um, dissecting, <laughs> no pun intended, dissecting that whole thing they gave him and say some, somewhere here yeah, there has to be a clue. Um, kudos to him. At that point, uh, we see him actually finding a clue and we see it's uh, an idol. And that means there's, at this point in time, four idols in the game. Did you think, uh, because let's say we don't take the tribal council into account, do you think with nine people left, four idols, that's a little bit uh, skewing the equation? Yes, definitely. I mean, let's say you can be at a situation where there's five people left, four idols in the game, plus an immunity and the, immun the individual immunity. I thought personally that it was a bit too much. Um, producers always had another choices, you know, perhaps an extra voted tribal council, perhaps whatever, a phone which you can call home from once a day. Or like the treasure, the treasure chest in the dirt where you can have like a stash of food. Yeah, I, I think I agree with you. Um, like you say, uh, at the end, like it made for a dramatic episode, but taking into account we have three idols, eh, it I think it's one of those things where production, it could have backfired in their faces and luck to them, it didn't. So it, it didn't. One thing we didn't discuss, and for me, it was also one of the highlights of the episode, um, was the beer. I mean, how good was that? <laughs> uh, I enjoy I highlight being the, the beer. Um, yeah, I think uh, this is not the, the, the immunity challenge, but if they say you can release that t rope for a million dollars and take a beer, look, look, I, I would I would walk out of my work. I'd say, listen, guys, I'm going home for a liter of beer. I'd you know stop doing this podcast for a liter of beer. Those guys have a lot of higher stakes, and they're saying, boom, I'm in for this beer. So definitely cool. Would you appreciate, let's say, what's it, three, three and a half weeks without anything to drink, you being able to um, slam that baby into your belly and take <laughs> a long nap? <laughs> you know me. Um, I mean, I've 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 left many less important things for beer and i mean you're there for three weeks you don't have food you don't have civilization it's really the only thing you have is what we see on the tv or in the episode and now you miss your basic luxury something like just being able to walk to the refrigerator something like maybe putting on the tv watching the news what a trump did this week i you just know? want to say now beer i mean it's it's like that's probably how heaven must look like i think if you have not eaten properly for three days i think even a quarter of that beer would have been enough to just you know book you for a nice afternoon nap now you got all leader that's amazing um, and it's a mental thing sorry Lem, I think no it's we a can talk about beer well. all day i'm down uh, <laughs> but it's a mental thing not necessarily only the beer but but other foods as well it's like i've had beer i'm feeling better emotionally i've had half a pasta or a chocolate it feels good i'm in a better place now so you almost use a lot of these small yeah, things small, during small the victories, game yeah. to small victories to boost yourself mentally no definitely uh we're spanning the cart in front of the horses but we might as well run of it uh you're speaking about immunity um 
now we have this point where they have the ropes, so we have to hold on, we do the immunity challenge, and um, Nico coming and saying, listen, I got this ball of chocolates. Now, I know you are a bit of a sweet tooth, um, and we see at the first five-minute mark, nobody willing to take the chocolates at that point. So, a few things. It's It, it says that nobody believes they are safe, and... Um, I mean, it's almost one of those things, again, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. So now you have a reward of chocolates, which, again, give me 10 minutes now, and I'll probably go through and go and buy myself one at the shop. But that's not the point. You know, what is the, the risk the reward ratio? Nobody went for the chocolates. It showed determination on the part of all of the players. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, they knew that, like you say, there's going to be something coming up. And then we see a couple of people drop John being first. And then uh, Nico comes with a glass of red wine and a bowl of pasta. And we see uh, four people just saying, listen, I'm tapping out, boom, out of the show. One of them being Shanae. Shanae saying, listen, I'm down to this pasta. Uh, not completing the challenge. And uh, ultimately ending up as a demise. Definitely. I think it was a bad move uh, from Shanae. If she would have won the challenge, I don't know. I think she looked strong. I think she could have given uh, Katanka and PK a go. My Again, we are not there, so please don't judge us. But my personal opinion is you can always have pasta when you get back home. And then you mm-hmm. can eat pasta the whole day. Or you say, maybe in the next episode, I'll have a Weber Braai there with, you know, chicken. Uh, Weber Braai. I, I would actually l- like to see that, you know, with whilst they are doing the endurance challenge, you smell the meat and, you know, the classic South African Braai. <laughs> You can always do that when you get back but home. One thing I do want to add on to what you say is I understand Werner jumping off, uh, Tom. Um, but the thing is with Shanae, at that point, she knows she's in the minority. So if you're in the minority, it, it's between the two or three of you. So at that point in time, I would say might as well, you know, hold on and fight. But we'll get to that and later. And she knew that. And, and just on another point, she knew that being in the minority and Palesa has an idol. So that puts her even more in the fiery line. Oh, definitely, definitely. And like you say, Palisa's idol being common knowledge. And then we see uh, Katinka, um, lo and behold, uh, surprising everybody, uh, coming out of nowhere, first three episodes, uh, not really featuring. And then now we see her being called the kingpin of the alliance, you know, carrying a t- uh, uh, tribe in the la- last uh, tribal immunities, uh, tri- yeah, tribal challenges, and now, um, or team challenges now winning this one so I think I really uh, game on the up definitely 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 so I don't know if we said it maybe last week but we did mention that Katinka might do a immunity run uh, she's very good at challenges in fact I think she's a challenger beast and um, now is really her time I'm very impressed with especially the last few episodes I've she's done the challenges and it puts her in a very 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 strong position moving forward so kudos to her yeah I agree uh, and then we get into this position where um, they start discussing who we're going to vote for and I, I, I don't know if they didn't show us that or if it's something I missed but Werner co- uh, coming forward and saying Tony told him listen if you guys are voting for PK I don't want to know about it I don't want anything involved with it lie to me that's fine and we see their lines uh, gunning in on, on PK and Tony saying, listen, uh, I'm starting to feel on the outs. Do you think that was a great move for Werner to honor a wish or do you think you should have done a bit more better lines management and say, listen, uh, Tony, I know you don't want to do it, but th- do a throwaway vote, but we're going for PK just to keep her in the loop and to not uh, throw her to, you know, make sure that she's got, she knows that you're on the same mm-hmm. page. I hear what you're saying. I think perhaps Werner could have handled it a a little bit better, you know. Um, Immediately now, and and Tony also said it, she felt as if she was an outsider. And the whole time she was an an insider, so to speak. Not a keeper, but a core role player. Definitely. Now being an outsider. So Werner could have told her, listen, I know you and PK have a strong alliance. You go back a long way. However, we want to go with PK this evening. And I'm telling you, this so that you know yeah i'm i'm playing my cards i have full disclosure towards you there's no monkey business it might be coming live it but full disclosure from my side so my side is clean i uh, definitely i think it's almost like a dad disciplining his child and it's one of those things where it's cruel to be kind listen i don't want to do this but i do this because i love you you know i do this because i want to uh, keep you in our lines but yeah um and then we get to this uh 
tribal council, a dramatic one. We see uh, Tom and uh, Pika, you know, they've had this whole row going back and forth, you know, giving each other a this way, that way, uh, r- really heated conversation. Um, do you think that these people uh, let the cards out to know that they're going down on PK or let the information out of a bag? Or do you think it's just PK was well enough to sniff out what was going to happen? It's difficult to say with with the with what we've seen. I think that PK did probably get a hunch. Um, seeing that he's not really more part of the old blue alliance, so to speak, and the, the other alliance, let's call it the Palesi, Palesa, Fuzi, Chanel alliance, is it's not really there so to speak so i think pk probably got a hunch and thinking maybe something might be coming and and pk he knows the blind side i mean let's go earlier in the game he pulled the perfect blind side on on devon so he is a smart player and i think he picked up i agree and then now uh, we get um first we see shanae wearing i think it's devon's hat you know uh she's like uh like bathing in the blood of a of a fallen comrade she's like well i'm gonna wear your hat uh, screw you you're not you anymore um and then we see uh, <laughs> i like this so much we see her quoting one of probably the best movies of all time saying this is like mingles like everybody being bitches now i've had a <laughs> a million um different um mingles quotes we spoke about i'm just gonna play this one for you where she says i can't help being popular i'm sorry that people are so jealous of me but i can't help it that i'm popular <laughs> That's so good, eh? It's but uh, wasn't it Jean who made the Mean Girls comment? Yeah, I'm saying yeah, it was Jean. Me, make the mean you mentioned squad. Chanel, but we, it, it's actually Jean. Uh, sorry, I, I, I meant Jean, you know, wearing the hat yes. and making the Mean Girls comment. Uh, brilliant. I caught what you said. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we see her uh, um, mentioning Mean Girls, and she's the one actually saying, listen, you guys, uh, Tom is the one providing for us, and you guys, you know, you're not even grateful for him and whatnot. And Tom's strategy is just, listen, I'm not... I know I'm, I'm the out, but I'd rather be at the outs and stay a couple days long and catching fish than not do anything and being voted out. Do you think this is a sound strategy from Tom? As best as Tom can do, really. Tom is not the kind of guy who I think will be a kingpin in any alliance. And if you see it from the beginning, he has been an outsider. But the thing is, he plays such a crucial role. He's good in challenges. He's a provider around camp. And the one thing you get from Tom, and we've said it time and time and again, loyalty. What you see is what you get. Definitely. And Tom is not one for playing games. And I don't think you need to play, you should not play games with him. That being said, I think Tom, yes, he, he played it right. And he says, well, this is where I am. And Jean actually went and said, I've got Tom's back because let's just treat each other as human beings. Yeah. Yes, you are my opponent and I respect you as my opponent, but we also live together for that matter. So let's, although you are my opponent, although I do want to take you down, I still need to respect you for who you are and the contribution that you make within our lives being camp. Jean played it very well and um, I think it, it, it really sums up the whole situation. I'm Tom is getting hurtful and you can understand it. Uh, definitely. And I think uh, we spoke about this earlier, but he just wants to be appreciated. And I think her giving that verbal confirmation in front of a whole jury of one and Niku, uh, it reaffirms that she is trusting in him and that he's being appreciated. And I think that builds trust for the two of them going forward. Uh, then we get, so. Yeah, then we get to this, uh, this uh, idle immunity train being wrapped up. We vote. And then Palesa says, boom, she slams her idol down. And then we follow up with PK. And we see Van is like, where well, hold on. This bus isn't leaving without me. And he racks him a bag and drops him. Got all three of him. Um, yeah, you can go. Yeah, <laughs> great stuff. Like I, like I told you, not only when we watched the episode, but also um, I think in this podcast already, it was my favorite episode. And the thing about the many idols, actually, within one tribal council, the problem is sorted. So, Palesa didn't need to play her idol. She played it again, rather safe than sorry. Yeah, it's then. I always say, sorry, I always say uh, playing an idol is like making a bowl of popcorn, right? It's it's better to when you make sh- when you make a bowl of popcorn at home to have five of those uh, popcorn pits not pop and take it off early than leaving it for a bit too long and to burn your whole set of popcorn. And it's the it's, same thing. Rather make the move early. And not just that, we've seen a couple of players actually win playing the idols incorrectly. Somebody like Tony Vlachos comes to mind. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tyson Apostle also playing an idol yes, incorrectly. So yes. even playing an idol incorrectly does not make you a, a bad player. Rather safe and sorry. Not. 
Yes, and um, and then Werner having to play one of his idols. So two interesting things. I don't think Werner expected. Well, nobody expected PK to have an idol, and I don't think Werner wanted to play one of his idols. And the irony is, had Werner not played one of his idols, he would have gone home. Yeah, he would have been gone home. So. I'm just glad for his sake that he didn't forget it at camp. <laughs> that would have been a nightmare for him. It's like, Nico, I have an idol, I promise. However, it's at camp, can I really Can I write you an IOU? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it wouldn't have worked. Um, it's not like a, you have an idol, petty cash there and survivor. But um, so well done to Werner for well taking or remembering the idol. We knew he was a smart player, but it would have been an a- absolute uh, catastrophe had he not had it there. And in the end, a very, very, very exciting tribal council. Shanae and Tom ultimately going against one another. Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, like most of the times uh, you vote on strategy, but sometimes it's just every so often you just vote on comf- comf- comfort and personal preference. And I think this is one of those times when Shanae and Tom came against each other. You're like, this guy catches fish. He's a tank. We know they got him. Shanae, she's cool. Dies her Um so between the two of them, I think uh, for, for, you know, Tom's in the alliance as well, mm. uh, even though he's an outside member, I think they made the right decision. Um, and I've liked also Tom from day one. I think he's, he's being given a grilling by, well, the people on social media, but also within the within the Survivor setup, there he is. And um, I'm glad Tom made it, really. Um, and like you say, he's a provider. is not the most easygoing person to have around camp, definitely not we've seen it but he is he is a good solid person yeah, really i agree and then uh, i just want to read the last thing here from uh, on twitter we've got uh your n- a name on twitter is golden uh at kaone underscore sm saying sorry if i'm pr- pronouncing your name cor- incorrectly golden uh, your twitter handle she says a uh, proper immunity idol flush free idols flush the one night and vanna still got one left um like you say, everybody knows uh, all the idols are gone now. Only a couple of people know Vander has one left. Do you think this puts him in uh, still a good position? Or do you think, um, you know, the wheel's turning against Vander at this point? I think it goes both ways, really. In, in the one sense, yes, I think Vander is getting momentum. His name is being mentioned as the boss, the kingpin, all of those things. But at the same time, it's an individual game now. Rather have an idol and don't... Rather have an idol. Yeah. Full stop. End of discussion. I agree. There's there's nothing more to add. Okay, then, uh, that, uh, honest, you quickly want to, we quickly need to do the obituary. Shanae, you know, the second member of a jury. Um, yes. It's an honor to do Shanae's obituary once again. Um, I think that Shanae was a very honest player, a very hard player. Like Tom, she also valued loyalty a lot. She and Tom had a good alliance going for the first 12, 15 days. Like you're saying and against lo- so loyalty, sorry for interrupting you, especially mm-hmm. that first, uh, the, the Seamus vote. You know, she was the one uh, smelling her ad saying, listen, uh, Seamus saying, I want to make a move on Tom. And she was one ultimately saying, listen, no, and did a U-turn and orchestrated uh, Seamus being voted out and protected Tom. So since day one, she was a player. And um, mm. yeah, like you said. One, two more things if I can quickly add is the following. And that is, I think that had she maybe not been on the wrong tribe from the beginning, maybe Mm. not on the losing tribe, she would have maybe approached the merge in a stronger position. That's the one thing. And then the second thing, I felt that maybe she developed a, I won't say hatred is 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 a nasty word, a dislike for Tom. So much so that she more focused on Tom and beating on Tom or beating Tom then maybe focusing on her game. She did play a bit of a scramble game in the end. She was on the outside. Maybe she could have played a better scrambled game. But all in all, a good, tough, hard, honest player, values loyalty. Um, and she was a, an honor to watch. Um, so, Shanae, all of the best. Eh? We really enjoyed watching you. Yeah, I know. Shanae, I'll offer for uh, inviting you for a braai where we will uh, be eating ribs and licking our fingers. That's still <laughs> on the table. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Anna's your player of the week. We haven't discussed that. So it must be one of two people. Either PK, um, and I'll go with PK because he was my original winner pick. A bit of luck getting the... The fourth idol in the mix. Getting the fourth idol, but he played it perfectly. And now it gives him a bit of bargaining power moving forward. Saying, listen here guys, you voted me off. How can I trust you moving forward? It gives him bargaining power. And PK was again good in the challenges. Yeah, I agree. 
Um, and then, yeah, that's about it for the end of uh, this podcast. A lot of stuff uh, discussed. Uh, I see the Twitter feed is going crazy. Yeah, I'm not even going to hit refresh. Um, speaking of Twitter, honest, if people want to hit you up on social media, uh, where can they get all of you? So I am on Twitter at, at JH Larum. It's L E R M. Uh, yes, and you can also hit me up uh, at Twitter at D underscore Lame with your English at Die underscore Lame. But honest, you have a, a new social media. <laughs> uh, an announcement you want to make <laughs> hey you could probably say that so uh, due to due to popular demand by by the fans <laughs> and the followers more than anything else i've uh, i've decided to join instagram so my name is the lekker over draf in beer drink um, i'm still not completely uh, if, if you're if you're english the lekker over draf in beer drink that means uh the fun the, guy that jogs and drinks beer that's yes. honest instagram so that's profile. my instagram uh, I will figure it out in the next month. To tell the truth, when I started it on Saturday, it was very difficult. <laughs> I only had one post yet, but please follow me, direct message me. I don't know how it works, and then I'll figure it out <laughs> and I'll give you some good stuff. <laughs> that is golden stuff. Uh, <laughs> not to joke around about Twitter, friend. Guys, that is, that's it from our side. Thank you so much. Please give us comments. Please uh, like this YouTube video. Hit subscribe if you have not yet hit subscribe. Uh, Hit us up on Twitter, send us your comments, uh, engage with us in the hate slate below in uh, YouTube, and you can also catch us on iTunes. Um, that's it, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.